हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज़ डॉक्टर तरुण कुमार पटेल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर बायोटेक्नोलॉजी फ्रॉम संत गुरु घासीदास गवर्नमेंट पीजी कॉलेज गुरुद डिस्ट्रिक्ट धमतरी छत्तीसगढ़ इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट प्रोटीन एंड न्यूक्लिक एसिड डेटा बेसिस सो लेट्स सी अबाउट द प्रोटीन एंड न्यूक्लिक एसिड डेटा बेसिस एट फर्स्ट लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड बायोलॉजिकल डेटा बेसिस Biological databases are the collection of life sciences information collected from scientific experiments, published literature, high throughput experiment technology, and computational analysis. The database may contain information from various research areas, including genomics, proteomics, metabolomics, microarray gene expression, and phylogenetics. Information contained in biological databases includes gene function structure localization clinical effect of mutation as well as similarities of biological sequences and structures protein and nucleic acid databases are the part of biological databases these databases have become a crucial part of modern biotechnology so let first in first let's see the protein databases the protein databases can be classified into different groups based on the type of data they have contained so at first let's see the protein sequence databases in this the first name is uniprot the various databases contain protein sequences with different focuses among all protein sequence databases uniprot is the most widely used one it provides more annotations than any other sequence database with a minimal level of redundancy through human input or integration with other databases National Center for Biotechnology Information or NCBI The NCBI also provides rich information and number of useful tools for protein sequences Kyoto Encyclopedia of Genes and Genomes or it is also known as CAG It annotates some gene entries with information about metabolic and regulatory pathways then the protein structural databases pdb or protein data bank the only international repository for processing and distribution of protein structure is the pdb the structures in the pdb were determined experimentally by x-ray crystallography and mr electron microscopy etc the pdb allows a user to view a molecule structure interactively through jmol pdb simple viewer pdb protein workshop and rcsb kiosk when the browser is configured to support this free rendering tools The PDB provides related information about the protein such as secondary structure assignment and geometry. Each PDB entry also links to a wide range of annotations from secondary databases. The second database here is PDB Lite. It integrates protein sequences and structure data from multiple sources. for protein structure prediction and analysis biomag research bank or pmrb it is a repository of nmr spectroscopy data on proteins peptides and nucleic acids particularly it provides partial nmr data before the full structure is solved 
protein model portal or PMP. It provides predicted structural models and their quality assessments for a large number of proteins. The next group is protein family databases. Proteins can be classified according to their sequence, evolutionary pathway, structural or functional relationship. Two proteins classified in the same functional family may suggest that they share similar structures even when their sequences do not have significant similarity. There is no unique way to classify proteins into family. So three types of classification method are widely adopted based on the similarity of sequence, structure or function. So let's see the database of sequence based protein families. P form. P form builds multiple sequence alignments of many common protein domains using hidden Markov model. It focuses basically on the function of proteins. Prodom. It consists of homologous domains based on recursive side blast searches. Clusters of orthologous group or COG, COG. COG aims towards finding ancient conserved domains by delineating families of orthologs across a wide phylogenetic range. COG is based on evolution. IPRO class database. It combines multiple sources of information for protein classification. One can use all these databases for a comprehensive analysis or choose one of them based on the purpose of the study. Databases for structure based protein family. The hierarchical relationship among proteins can be clearly revealed in structures through structure structure comparison. Structure families often provide more information on relationship between proteins than what sequence family can offer, particularly when two proteins share a similar structure but no significant sequence identity. In this group, let's see the available database. CAT or class architecture topology and homologous superfamily database is a hierarchical classification of protein domain structure. The other database here is combinatorial extension of the optimal path or CE. It provides structural neighbors of the PDB entries with structure structure alignments and three dimensional superposition. FSSP, it stands for fold classification based on structure structure alignment of protein. It features a protein family tree and a domain dictionary in addition to whole chain based classification sequence neighbors and multiple structure alignment. SCOP or structural classification of proteins, it uses augmented manual classification, class, fold, superfamily and family classification of proteins. VAST or vector alignment search tool contains representative structure alignments and three dimensional superposition. Among these five databases, SCOP provides 
more function related information. Then let's see the database for function based protein families. Enzyme data bank. It contains the following data for each enzyme. EC number, recommended name, alternative names, catalytic activity, cofactors, pointers to the uniprotentry and pointers to any disease associated with a deficiency of the enzyme. Brenda. It collects extensive enzyme functional data. Catalytic site atlas is a database of three dimensional enzyme active sites derived from PDB structures. Various gene ontologies such as gene ontology or CAG also organize proteins into functional group. Annotations and analysis by these ontologies for a given list of genes can be carried out using tools and databases such as David or database of annotation, visualization and integrated discoveries. The other databases. Protein modification databases. There are a number of databases for protein post-translational modification. O glycobase collected experimentally verified O or C glycosylation sites. Whereas the plant protein phosphorylation database or P3DB condenses phosphoproteomics information including experimental phosphorylation sites from various plants. Compendium of Protein Lysine Acetylation or CIPLA. It includes manually curated lysine acetylated substrates with their sites. In other databases there is another group of protein databases which is protein localization database. A number of databases are available to describe protein subcellular localization and targeting. These databases are for various species like ESLDB or eukaryotic subcellular localization database for the general eukaryotes. Locate. It contains mammalian protein subcellular localization information. Next is SUBA. SUBA is a database for Arabidopsis. P sort databases for bacteria and archaea. Some databases focuses on special organelles such as organelle database or centrosome database. Then let's see the protein binding databases. Protein binding includes protein substrate docking and protein protein association or interaction. In this group the database is really based is a database system for analyzing receptor ligand complexes in the PDB. Binding database describes many interaction between drug target protein and a small drug like molecule. Then database of interacting proteins or DIP. Then again another database is biological general repository for interactions data sets or 
it is also known as biogrid it includes protein protein and genetic interaction for all major model organisms or species a string it stands for the search tool for retrieval of interacting genes or protein it covers known and predicted protein interaction for many species as well as direct and indirect association it means physical or functional association furthermore some proteins interaction databases are based on protein structure such as 3d complex or domino as etc then let's see the protein energetics databases there are a few databases for protein energetics due to the low throughput nature of the data sources one useful energetic database can be found in protherp or thermodynamic databases for protein and mutants it contains thermodynamic data on mutations including gibbs free energy enthalpy heat capacity and transition temperature another database is 3d footprint which provide estimates of binding specificity for protein dna complexes in ptb then let's see the another group of databases the bibliographic data bases searching for the protein information through traditional bibliographic databases such as medline or grateful med can be rewarding in addition some bibliographic references databases dedicated to protein may provide certain information more directly for example i pro link an integrated protein literature information and knowledge provides literature information on proteins and their feature property then the combined databases by integrating different types of protein databases together a database of databases or a data warehouse can be built such combined databases not only serve as a one stop shop but also provide a cross reference between entries in different databases one example of such database is srs or sequence retrieval system which is a comprehensive database for molecular biology the server at http srsebiac.uk supports many biological databases including almost all the major protein genetic databases as an indexing system it provides fast access to different databases through searches by sequence or by keywords from various data fields srs also builds indices using cross reference between databases an entry from one database can be linked to other database that contain the entry these were the protein databases now let's see the nucleic acid databases when we talk about the nucleic acid database the first name come is the international nucleotide sequence database collaboration or insdc insdc consists of joint effort to collect and disseminate database containing dna and rna sequences the aim and policy of this long established collaboration in gathering in publishing nucleotide sequences and annotations and links to the three partners data submission and retrieval tool it involves the databases of dna data bank of japan gene bank 
from USA and European nucleotide archive from UK. New and updated data on nucleotide sequence contributed by the search team to each of three databases are synchronized on a daily basis through continuous interaction between the staff at each the collaborating organization. The DDBJ EMBL gene bank synchronization is maintained according to a number of guidelines which are produced and published by an international advisory board. The guidelines consist of a common definition of the feature table for the databases which regulates the content and syntax of the database entry in the form of common DTD document type definition. Now let's see the these three main nucleic acid databases one by one. The DNA data bank of Japan or DDBG. The DNA data bank of Japan DDBJ is a biological database that collects DNA sequences. It is located at the National Institute of Genetics or NIG in the Shizuoka prefecture of Japan. It is also a member of International Nucleotide Sequence Database Collaboration of INSDC. It exchanges its data with European Molecular Biological Laboratory at the European Bioinformatics Institute and with Gene Bank at the NCBI on a daily basis. Thus, these three databases contain the same data at any given time. DDBJ began data bank activities in 1986 at NIG and remains the only nucleotide sequence data bank in Asia. Although DDBJ mainly receives its data from Japanese researcher, it can accept data from contributors from any other country. DDBJ is primarily funded by the Japanese Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science and Technology. DDBJ has an international advisory committee which consists of nine members, three members each from Europe, US and Japan. Then let's see about the gene bank sequence database. The gene bank sequence database is an open access annotated collection of all publicly available nucleotide sequences and their protein translation. It is produced and maintained by the National Center for Biotechnology Information or NCBI. As part of International Nucleotide Sequence Database Collaboration or INSDC. Gene Bank and its collaborators receive sequences produced in laboratories throughout the world from more than 1 lakh distinct organisms. The database started in 1982 by Walter Goad and Los Alamos National Laboratory. Gene Bank has become an important database for research in biological field and has grown in recent year at an exponential rate by doubling roughly every 18 months. Now let's see the EMBL nucleotide sequence databases. The EMBL nucleotide sequence database also known as EMBL bank is the section of the European Nucleotide Archive or ENA which contains high level genome assembly details as well as assembled sequences and their functional annotation. EMBL bank is contributed to by direct submission from the genome consortia and a smaller research group as well as by their retrieval of sequence data 
associated with patent applications. Now, after this primary nucleic acid databases, let's see with some secondary databases. In secondary databases, the name here is the HAP map or haplotype map. The elucidation of the entire human genome has made possible our current effort to develop a haplotype map of the human genome. HAP map is a tool that allows researcher to find genes and genetic variation that affect health and disease. The HAP map is a powerful resource for studying the genetic factor contributing to variation in response to environmental factors in susceptibility to infections and in the effectiveness of an adverse response to drug and vaccines. The second database in this group is OMIM or Online Mendelian Inheritance in Man. OMIM is a comprehensive authoritative compendium of human genes and genetic phenotypes that is freely available and updated daily. The full text referenced overviews in OMIM contain information on all known Mendelian disorders and over 15,000 genes. OMIM basically focuses on relationship between phenotype and genotype. It is updated daily and the entries contain copious link to the other genetic resources. This database was initiated in the early 1960s by Dr. Victor A. McCusick as a catalog of Mendelian traits and disorders entitled Mendelian Inheritance in Man or MIM. Twelve book editions of MIM were published between 1966 and 1998. The online version OMIM was created in 1985 by a collaboration between National Library of Medicine and the William H. Welch Medical Library at Johns Hopkins. It was made generally available on the internet starting in 1987. In 1995, OMIM was developed for the World Wide Web by NCBI. OMIM is authored and edited at the Mac Cusack Nathan's Institute of Genetic Medicine, John Hopkins University School of Medicine, under the direction of Dr. Ada Hamos. The reference sequence or in abbreviated form RAFSAC. NCBI's reference sequence database is a collection of taxonomically diverse, non-redundant and richly annotated sequences representing naturally occurring molecules of DNA, RNA and protein. Included are sequences from plasmids, organelles, viruses, archaea, bacteria and eukaryotes. Each reference sequence is constructed wholly from sequence data submitted to International Nucleotide Sequence Database Collaboration or INSDC. They are generated to provide reference standard for multiple purpose ranging from genome annotation to reporting locations of sequence variation in medical reports. Thousand Genome Project or abbreviated as 1KGP launched in January 2008. The genome of more than a thousand anonymous participants from a number of different ethnic groups were analyzed and made publicly available. The thousand genome project 
ran between 2008 to 2015 creating the largest public catalog of human variation and genotype data agnog database agnog stands for evolutionary genealogy of genes non supervised orthologous groups the database was created in 2007 and updated version 4.5 in 2015 the agnog database is a database of biological information hosted by embl it is a hierarchical functionally and phylogenetically annotated orthology resource based on 5090 organisms and 2502 viruses it provides multiple sequence alignment and maximum likelihood tree as well as broad functional annotations it is based on the original idea of cox cluster of orthologous groups and expand that idea to non supervised orthologous group constructed from numerous organisms then let's see the gene expression databases in this group let's see the genome databases these databases collect genome sequences annotate and analyze them and provide public access some add curation of experimental literature to improve computation annotations these databases may hold many species genomes or single model organism genome the examples are array express it archive or it is an archive of functional genomics data stores data from high throughput functional genomics experiments from embl the another example is bioinformatic harvester and ensample it provides automatic annotation databases for human mouse other vertebrate and eukaryote genomes ensample genome it provides genome scale data for bacteria protist fungi plants and invertebrate metazoa through a unified set of interactive and programmatic interfaces using the ensample software platform the fly base genome of the model organism drosophila melanogaster then let's see the gene disease databases in this group the database gene expression omnibus or geo includes a public functional genomics data repository from the us national cancer institute of nci which supports array and sequence based data tool for querying and downloading gene expression profiles are provided the other database in this group is human protein atlas or hpa it is a public database with expression profiles of human protein coding genes both on mrna and protein level in tissues cells subcellular compartments and cancer tumors then there are some specific databases uh, these are some species specific or some family species databases are also available uh, for example the legume information system or lis genomic database for the legume family then personal genome project human genomes of 1 lakh volunteers from around the world rgd or rat genome databases genomic and phenotypic data of ratus norvegicus saccharomyces genome database genomes of the yeast model organism snpdia soy based databases or soy base 
is a USDA soya bean genetics and genomic database on soya bean. UCSC malaria genome browser. It is a genome of genome of malaria causing species, for example, Plasmodium falciferum and other species. Then worm base genome of it contains genome of model organism Cinerobditis elegans and worm base parasite for parasitic species. Gene base it contains genome of model organism Genopus tropicalis and Genopus levis. Jebrafish information network it contains the genome of the fish model organism. Then let's see some phenotype databases. In the phenotype databases, the databases PHI base it contains pathogen host interaction database. It links gene information to phenotypic information from microbial pathogen on their host. Information is manually curated from peer reviewed literature. The RGD RAID genome database genomic and phenotypic data of Rattus norvegicus. POM based database it, man, it contains the manually curated phenotypic data from East Saccharomyces pombi. Then let us see some RNA databases. In the RNA databases MIR base it contains the micro RNA database or RFAM a database of RNA families. So in conclusion we can say several major databases we have discussed and how they can be used effectively we understand. The other protein and nucleic acid databases can be explored in a similar way. While databases become indispensable sources for studying protein or nucleic acid caution is needed when using the data from databases to draw a conclusion. The qualities of databases vary significantly. Some databases are not well maintained and contain obsolete information. It is not rare to see some protein databases disappear after a few years. In addition, the data in some databases are not carefully validated and may not be reliable.